So hi all this is Sachin Sachin VC welcome back to my YouTube channel uh, Sachin so this is the second video in the project playlist so here we are going to discuss on how to set up the MEP project so ME projects are typically created by using the linked architecture model so what are the steps that we are going to implement during the setup of the ME project is first one is pick your proper template proper project template the second is deleting the uh, existing levels in the project template and after that we will insert the rivet link then copy monitor the levels and grids from the linked model and after that <clears throat> we will create the four plans then and then define the coordination view after that we will create the seeding plan rename the views and uh, copy all the scope box from the architecture model to the uh, our project then we will duplicate uh, the views and we will create the sheets accordingly so these are the 12 major steps that we are going to implement during the uh, project setup so we'll start so let's start step by step uh, so, so first step is picking the uh, proper template I mean proper project template for that one click new from there you will find some templates concession architecture so right now I'm going with the system default metric then click ok so make sure you will follow the project here not project template so I'm going with the project click ok so based on the system default metric uh, one project is opened here you can see the discipline like electrical mechanical plumbing if I go to one of the elevation you will find two levels this all setup is done on the project template itself so right now uh, the second step is uh, deleting the existing level so this is the existing level in the project templates so i don't want this level so i'm just deleting so while deleting you can notice that uh, these levels got deleted so i'm just deleting okay so that all the floor plan got deleted from the here so only the 3d views and elevations are visible in the project browser so next step is inserting the rivet link for the third one uh, go to the insert tab link rivet then one pop-up will come from here just choose the architecture link model this is what my architecture link model so keep the position as origin to origin and click ok so one a linked model is inserted into our project file now you can see the linked architecture model in the in our project space so you can notice that uh, this, these are the levels which is associated with the uh, linked file so if i click the link ones all the levels got selected so next step is i need this uh, linked levels into my own project for copying the levels from the linked model to our model we are using the copy monitor method so copy monitor is nothing but we can copy all the elements like which all elements that is a family or grid or levels or any other uh, lines or whatever you want that you can copy from the linked model to our project that is known as copy monitor for that one the pro procedure is go to the collaborate tab click on the copy monitor then select link why because we are copying from the link file so just select the link and from here just click copy then tick multiple then select the levels go to the filter and check it once only levels is selected here so i have five levels i just selected all the levels then finish pin the levels in the project space and stop monitoring and finish so this is the copy monitor method after that you can see the levels are highlighting so these levels are copied into your project space after copying the levels the next step is creating the floor plans for the button go to view tab then click on the plan views then here floor plans so you can see these are the levels which we copy motor from here so i just select all the things go to the edit type so initially i am creating the mechanical plan so choose the mechanical plan as the template then click ok then click ok so here you can see all the floor plans are created in the hvc floor and next is creating the plan floor plans for plumbing for that one go to the view tab plan views then again floor plan then select all the levels edit type change the mechanical plan into plumbing plan i mean the view template click ok then again ok then you can see floor plans are created here then for electrical also we need to create so again do the same thing plan views floor plan select all the levels edit type change the view template into electrical click ok then ok again ok 
that means the floor plan is created here okay i hope you understand the uh, creating the floor plans so next thing is creating the ceiling plan go to the view tab here just change the floor plan to reflected ceiling plan and select the levels which are levels you want just select and go to the edit type and change the view template none into electrical ceiling click ok then again ok ok so here you can see the electric panels is created here so after creating the floor plan the next step is renaming the views for that one as per the BEP or as per the client instruction we are going to rename the uh, floor plan name so right now I just uh, click the rename option and I am adding LTG 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 then lighting so do you want to rename the corresponding level and views no I just want to change the name here and here also I am adding underscore LTG I'm copying the value no so coming to the HEC plan I'm just adding it as underscore HEC so same way we'll do the rest of the things actually uh, the, rest, the rest of the views we will do the same thing so this, these all are for our reference only for easy understanding the which all view we are working after renaming the views the next step is copying all the scope box from the architecture model into our project so for that one go to here just right click on the rivet link and open and unload click ok so i have opened one the architecture model so i am just selecting the scope box go to filter just tick the scope box here so we have three scope box in the model and copy to clipboard and go to our project from here just go to the modify tab align to current view align to current view so that all the scope scope box are copy so that all the scope box are copied into our model space so right now the architecture model is unloaded go to the manage tab and go in manage links go to the architecture then reload okay for that one just first i need to close the model then go to the manage links click here reload okay so that i got the model back and also the scope box and next step is duplicating the uh, views so right now I have three scope box, I mean three areas I have area A, area B, area A, area B, then area C. So I need to create three dependent views for each floor plan. So go to the entry level, right click, duplicate as dependent and again duplicate as dependent and duplicate as dependent. So this is the first view. So I'm just changing the name into lighting area a so i'm just uh, making the scope box one so that only area a is visible here so next is area b area so area come on area b and i'm keeping the view as <coughs> so i'm making the scope box as scope box two so only b area is visible here and next is go to the area b so I'm renaming into area C and changing into scope box. So I have created three areas based on the architecture scope box, and also sometimes architecture will use the match line, so that also we can copy and we can paste it here. So next thing is creating the sheets. So go to here, right click new sheet. So sometimes the client will provide the title box, so you can use that thing. And so right now I'm just following the Autodesk title box. So this is the first sheet. I'm just copying the area A to here. Then again, new sheet. Click OK. I'm adding area B to this sheet. And the third sheet, new sheet, then OK. So this is my third view. 
so i have created three sheets for the uh, lighting plan for entry level so based on the bep we need to follow the naming and uh, rest of the things so i hope you understand the initial project setup so please try out once if you have any doubts means please let me know in the comment section so definitely i will look back and i will get back to you and so that's it from my side so this is sachin from sachwin channel thank you guys bye